Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve absolute value equation. So if you don't know a lot about absolute value or if you don't know about how to solve equation with absolute value, I want to show you a really good approach how can you solve it if you don't know about absolute value a lot. So right here in this equation we have two absolute values. So this expression in absolute value brackets and this one in absolute value brackets. So firstly you need to write the right here plus minus and right here. So you don't know about the sign of this absolute value on the left hand side. It can be positive, it can be negative. And this one you don't know as well. So positive and negative. So you just need to solve four cases, four real quick case cases. Firstly, first combination, this one is positive and this one is positive. So plus and plus. Secondly, it can be positive, but this can be negative. So plus and minus. Third case, this can be negative and this can be positive and the first case we will have all both negatives. So we just need to solve these cases. But two, two of them will have no any roots, but two of them will give you a root. So let's start. So I hope you understand this step. Just forget about absolute value, just you need to solve these, these combinations. First combination will have the two apps to case for two brackets are two expressions are positive. Firstly, if two, this one are po are posit is positive, we will have x minus 2 only equal to x plus 5. So let's solve this. Let's bring x on the left. So x minus x equal to 5 plus 2. So we have 0, 0 equal to 7, which, which has no any roots. So doesn't, don't care about it. No roots. This is good. So first case is not good for us. We don't have it, we don't find right here any roots. So let's solve the second case. How can you solve it? This one is positive, so x minus 2, and this one is negative, minus, and or here really good to write parentheses at first, x plus 5. Let's solve this equation. We will have that x minus 2 equal to minus x minus 5. Just open, open our parentheses. So what are we going to do next? Bring in x's on the left. We will have that x plus x will be 2x. And right here, minus 5 plus 3 will be minus 3. And right here, as you can see, we find one root. Right here, dividing by 2, we'll have that x equal to minus 3 half. Or if we're talking about decimal, we will have minus 1.5. So we find one root. We'll check it, check it later. We need to solve two more cases. So the first, the third case minus and plus. So we'll have minus parentheses x minus 2 equal to x x plus 5. So let's solve this. Firstly open parentheses minus x plus 2 equal to x plus 5. And how can you solve this? Bringing this x on the left we will have minus x with this minus x we'll have minus 2x equal to 5 minus 2 will be 3. Dividing both sides by, by 2, for example, or minus 2 will be better, x equal to minus 3 half, and as you can see, equal to minus 1.5. So the same as in the second case. And the first case. This case is not, will not give us any roots, because with, if we have two minuses, we will have minus x minus 2 equal to minus x plus 5. We will have minus x plus 2 equal to minus x minus 5. If we bring this x on the left, we will have that minus x plus x equal to minus minus 7. So we will have 0 equal to minus 7, which you note as any root. So right now, as you can see, this one and this one is not necessary, but I, I want you to, to solve, of course, the four cases, because right now you can see that right here we have no any roots, and right here we'll have two, two roots but the roots are, are the same and it's it's really good. That means that you solve this correctly. So this case is good for us and this is good for us. But we're talking about only one root, so x equal to minus 1.5. So let's 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 check, let's let's prove these roots. Let's prove right here we will have minus 1.5 minus 2 equal to minus 1.5 plus 5. So if we subtract from here we will have minus 3.5 but with absolute value and right here we will have 3.5 absolute value 3.5 
equal to 3.5. So as you can see, this root is, is one and only root and its root is good for us. This is my approach about absolute value, how you solve this absolute value problem. I recommend you this approach, just solve real quick all combination. If you have, for example, dessert, you need to solve all three, three combinations. You have a lot of combination. But I want to show you this method. This method is good for beginners who don't know about absolute value. So if you agree with this, if you enjoy it, put thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And see you in the next videos.